Hi, this is Mary. We are at 1648 Ash Street in Lake Oswego. Um, the street is on a dead end here, and then there was a road by it that they said was vacated, so it gave them, I guess, a little bit more room. Very quiet. Nice block. Not a ton of street parking. Sorry, that's construction next door. But then there's the double car garage here. So we'll come on up. It's an open house, so there might be some people around. There's Alex. <laughs> and so this is one um, entry to the backyard there. And then we'll just start in on the front door. Nice walkway coming up to the house. Um, so there's an entryway as you walk in. Um, we were just talking to the agent. We believe it's oak flooring here. Pretty much carpet throughout. Some paneling here. Um, and you kind of have this open concept. Dining, tall windows, and then the pretty, really nice windows going right out to the back. So you have a lot of light and the skylights here. Coat closet. I'm going to shut that. Um, so this is the kind of formal dining room. There was new gas log inserts done in 2008. And the carpet is newer. I believe she's got the receipts for that as well. So then you have some paneling here against this wall. And here's your dining space here. And then again, the oak flooring in the kitchen. Some wallpaper into a dining nook. This wall might be able to be opened to just give it a little bit more spaciousness because the kitchen is quite narrow. However, it's, I don't mind the cabinets. I think almost if they were painted, they would be really pretty. Um, you're fine. And then we have some newer appliances. 2008 was the dishwasher, a newer stove, the convection. There is gas heat, so um, that could be updated to the gas. And then this is down into the den, your family room. And then sliders were just put in as well. There's your another gas fireplace here. Um, the washer dryer they do have right in this room here, which could probably be moved out to the. Don't do that. Open that. Up. Without <laughs> you videoing me, I'll go behind. You, you can. Thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> so we have the washer dryer right here off of the den. Um. And then the back patio comes off here. So we'll go out there after. Just take you out to the garage. So that's right off the den if you did want to move the washer dryer out here. So a really big two-car garage for plenty of storage. 2008 was the high efficiency water, or excuse me, furnace. Um, it looks like 97 water heater. This panel is an original panel and it is a federal pacific panel so that is something we would get a bid for let's go up to the bedrooms and then back out to downside I think this house is actually really nice in the neighborhood it seems really nice so the carpet's a little bit different in here um, looks newer but this is probably the smallest of the three bedrooms that's a window to out front but a decent size for an office especially and big double closet here Um, here 
here's your second room. And then you've got a nice view to the side backyard. And then a bigger closet here. Kind of a triple closet with a good depth. Linens here. So carpet in the main bathroom, wallpaper, everything's been kept in really good shape. However, um, we do have the sliders on the bathroom bathtub there. And the roof, just so I don't forget, was a full tear off in 94. Um, and she's got all of the paperwork for everything that's been done. Here's your master suite, really spacious in here. Um, doors right up to the back patio. So you come in, um, sink, single sink, big walk-in closet, which is nice. There's the sink. And then through the door is your toilet and stand up shower. That's a decent size. So, updating, yes, but livable, yes, is how I feel about this. And even 